Today's match is brought to you by Direct Waste Management Limited and Orca Telecom. Well, you can almost smell the shortbread wafting through the air. We're at Christie Park in Huntley this afternoon. Two big fans of the Scottish Highland Football League, Mr Smith and Mr Lettingham there, giving it the thumbs up for this encounter with Turriff United. The two Garys get us underway for Turriff, Harris and McGowan. And that will be an early touch for the Huntley keeper, Fraser Hobday. Throw in to Huntley. Here's Blair Johnston, left-footed, whips it in towards Makarovikius. It's a decent header. Kevin Main just lets it drift past his post. Here's Makarovikius again. He's had a lively start to this match, the number seven. Just 23 years old. It's only his fifth start in a black and gold shirt. Yet to score for the club, the Lithuanian. Good control by Gary Harris. McCaskill, one touch layoff to Young. Young again. There's Cammy Bowden. And it's been nicked off him by young Thomas Johnston. And Johnston's shown him a clean pair of heels. It's Johnston and it's off the post. I think Kevin Main got hands to that. The youngster Johnston did really well there to steal the ball away from Cammy Bowden. Tried to side foot his shot past Kevin Main. More pressure with a long throw in. There's McKenzie with a header. Easy enough for Kevin Main. Greg Carroll will surely be pleased with how his Huntley team have started. Here's Davidson for Tariff with time and space. He's looking for McCaskill. Couldn't quite stretch those neck muscles to reach that ball. There's Young. McGowan. It's fallen for Gary Harris. Well, he had to take that first time. He could sense there was Huntley defenders closing in on him very quickly. It's well played by Callum Dunbar, a recent signing by Greg Carroll. He arrived from Fort Martin a few weeks ago. It's a free kick, is it? No, play on, says the referee. Here's McCaskill with some time and space. It's three against three here for Tariff. And Johnston takes out McCaskill. That's going to be the first yellow card of the afternoon. It's McGowan with a free kick straight into that Huntley wall. It'll come out for Lewis Davidson, though, on the far side. And Tariff win themselves a corner. McCaskill with it. Huntley try to clear their lines, but can't, and it's back out to McCaskill. It's a deep cross to Gary Harris. He'll try and float this back into the box, and it's coming with the header, and it's off the bar. Fraser Hobday coming out to collect that, but got nowhere near it. And Stuart Cumming was really unlucky with that header. Both sides have hit the woodwork now in this first half. There's Thoyers with a cross into the box. It's sliced by Cammy Bowden. Kevin Main opting to punch. It's great vision by Jamie Beagree to pick out Gary Harris on the far side. McCaskill's making a run into the box for Turriff. Here is McCaskill, and that's great defending by Gary Davidson. The former Tariff United player just signed for Huntley last week. There's McGowan. And Thoyer's in a real coming together of those two. And there's a bit of pushing and shoving afterwards. And Graham Beaton steps between the two players. Well, there was no holding back from either player there. It will be Alexander Thoyer's going into the book by the looks of it, though. Graham Beaton shows the second yellow card of the afternoon. Greg Carroll just questioning the referee's decision there. Mr. Beaton just politely reminding him that he makes the decisions. Coming. There's Chris Hurd for Tariff United. There's McCaskill. Wriggles away from two Huntley players. Great play by McCaskill. Then just loses his footing at the vital moment. Back on his feet. There is McCaskill again, and this time he's fouled. It's the Huntley captain, Mark Lawson, that brought him down. Hobday wants four in the wall. It'll be McCaskill with it. But that was never troubling Hobday. He has found the net twice so far this season, Andy McCaskill. McCaskill with it, great vision outside of the boot, one for Gary Harris to chase. Mark Lawson comes across for Huntley, and a real captain's job at the heart of that black and gold's defence. Chris Hurd 
curls a beautiful cross in. It's headed away by Blair Johnston. Helped on its way by Alexander Thors. There's Lewis Davidson with a shot, but that's closer to the corner flag than Fraser Hobday's goal. And Gary McGowan and Mark Lawson clashing heavily there, and Lawson looks to have come off the worst of the two. He's up on his feet now. The referee spotted some blood, though, in his mouth and is sending Mark Lawson off to get some treatment. David Young dealing with the Huntley captain. Huntley temporarily down to 10 men. Mark Lawson ready to re-enter the field of play, but referee Graham Beaton not allowing him, saying the ball hasn't gone out of play, but I don't think it needs to go out of play, he just needs the referee's permission. He can wave him back on, surely, as I understand the rules. And the Huntley bench getting increasingly frustrated with the referee here. Meanwhile, play continues. There's Lewis Davidson for Tariff United. Young. And Huntley with all ten men in their own half of the pitch at the moment. Greg Carroll furious with the referee. Desperate to get Mark Lawson back on the pitch. McCaskill. Finds Gary McGowan with his back to goal. There's Gary Harris with a shot. And just scuffs it wide. And now Huntley can get their captain back on the pitch. Perhaps the referee, Graham Beaton, just wanted to stop play to check on the blood on the mouth of Mark Lawson. And that's why he didn't wave him back on. But Huntley will be relieved that they managed to get through that passage of play unscathed. McCaskill picks up McGowan. That's good goalkeeping by Fraser Hobday, just 19 years of age. Davidson has been full of running for Tariff United in this first half, and he's won his side a corner. McCaskill with it. He'll come back out to McCaskill. Comes on his left foot, curls one in. It's headed clear by McKenzie. McCaskill again floats one into the box. This time it's a header by Kuznetskovs, and that's not far wide. Hobday with a big goal kick. It's picked up in the midfield by Thoyers. And up and under from McCaskill. One for Gary Harris to chase and Davidson's not been able to tackle him. And Gary Harris is through and Tariff United take the lead. Well, Gary Harris had it all to do there. He was up against two Huntley defenders. Gary Davidson. Looked the favourite for the ball, but a little header there. And a bit of luck there off Fraser Hobday, it has to be said. But Gary Harris put himself in that position and deserved that bit of luck. Tariff United take the lead at Christie Park. Well, it's been an intriguing first half of football, but Tariff United will go into the break 1-0 to the good. Fraser Hobday collecting there from Gary Harris. Hobday's huge goal kick to his opposite number, Kevin May. Signals the end of the first 45. The second half gets underway at Christie Park. Huntley find themselves a goal down to the visitors, Tariff United, this afternoon. That's an early free kick given away by Kuznetskovs. He gets himself a yellow card for his troubles too. Davidson with a free kick. It's a good one. That's really good defending by Chris Hurd. Tariff United's success so far this season has been built on their strong defence. They've won their last six Highland League matches and conceded just one goal in that time. There's Paul Young to Hurd. Back to Young. Chips it over the top for Bigri. Bigri does really well to find McCaskill. Harris is in the box. McCaskill's looking for him with a header. Just over the top of Gary Harris. It's Kuznekovs. Good ball to find Gary McGowan. Just offside, according to the referee's assistant. Nice touch by the experienced Mark Gray to Makarovikius. Here's Neil Davidson with a shot. Deflected wide for a corner kick. Davidson with it. Makarovikius gives chase for Huntley. And gets a block in. Just updating everyone on social media. What's happening here at Christie Park this afternoon? 
still 1-0, but Huntley haven't given this up. There's Callum Dunbar with a decent cross, but it's well held by Kevin Main, who signed for Tariff United from Bucky Thistle recently. And just as we were talking, that was a great challenge by Blair Johnston. He's turned defence into attack for the home side. Here's Neil Davidson. Left foot shot, but not troubling Kevin Main. Throw in for Huntley on that far side. Looking for Thomas Johnston, but he can't hold on to it. Nodded back. Picked up by Beagree, though. He's found Gary Harris. Can Harris find his strike partner, McGowan? He's gone out for a corner kick. In it comes, a big looping one. Fumbled around in the box. Huntley substitutes Sam Harrison. Shows good strength there, but just loses out. There's McGowan and Thoyers again, and that's carried on into the second half, and that looked like a bit of a flying elbow there from McGowan on Thoyers. The referee didn't spot anything. Thoyers is holding his mouth. Well, it's been a really fiery contest between those two combative players during this match. And the referee just keeping a close eye on that ongoing rumble between Thoyers and McGowan. McGowan offers a friendly word to Thoyers, but it doesn't seem to be received that well. It's a tariff substitute, number 12, Aaron McKenna. Gary Harris, really nice feet and play by him. And Jamie Beagree was taken out late. Craig McCaskill coming on for Tariff United. It'll be Gary McGowan making way to the sound of plenty of jeers from those Huntley supporters. Well, Chris Hurd always looked favourite for that header. Here's Aaron McKenna, and he's found Gary Harris really well. Harris with a shot, and that's a really good save by Fraser Hogday in the Huntley goal. Here's Beagree for Tariff. That's a great ball for Gary Harris, who's been a thorn in the side of this Huntley defence this afternoon. Harris looks for McCaskill, who misses an open goal. Well, the Tariff substitute will be devastated with that. Here's Paul Young, one of the first names on Ross Jack's team sheet this season. And his effort from just outside the box just sails over Hobday's bar. Loose ball's picked up by Craig McCaskill. He's taken out by Craig Davidson. Davidson will be the fourth player to go into the book this afternoon. Dying minutes of the match now. Route one stuff from Huntley. There's four players in the box. Kevin Main comes to meet it. Punch is clear. It's met by Callum Dunbar, who heads it back in. And Main gathers on the ground. Into time added on now at Christie Park. Throw in to Tariff United. It's lobbed forward. Nicholas Gray will pick this up for Tariff. He's got Mark Lawson with him. He cuts inside. Gray with a shot. That's another good save by young Fraser Hobday. And Tariff United happy to run the clock down here at Christie Park. And their winning run continues. It's finished Huntley nil. Tariff United won. Well, I just let you see how um, a fine dividing line it is for making a mistake, and they make a the mistake in the game. I think uh, we're giving away possession in the middle of the park. And then Fraser's taking the save off, it's bounced off him, and they've got the second chance. And that's just the way life happens sometimes, but I've got to say, Grant, the battling performance of the players today was very, very good. It led on for last week's second half performance. And another day, you might get a chance. I mean, we hit the post in the first half. One of the players says it actually oh, so Kevin Main saved it, put it onto the post. So it just lets you see. Can you, well, well, as long as we're progressing every week, then I'll be happy with that. Um, I'm certainly thinking that's a progression today. And it was a tough affair, tough encounter. encounter. I said to the boys before the game that you know, Greg's got them well drilled now and the boys that are in the team know what's required from them and know what's expected. So we knew it was going to be a tough game today. But, uh, you know, 1-0 no win. Not a flump by win, but solid performance overall, I thought, and did enough to, to merit the, the win, I thought, overall as well. You made changes from last week, but you were able to keep the same defence. Yeah, I think it's been a problem since we arrived at the club. Have I been chopping and changing the back line? Um, I think that's the third week in the trot. I think I've kept the same back line with the new signing, obviously. Um, but it, aye, it looks compact. We were strong. Sam McKenzie, outstanding today. Um, Matt Lawson, outstanding. Can the old back line, to be perfectly honest? I didn't think we were stretched at any time at all in the game. I think we competed well. Um, and even in the middle of the park, and you, we're playing with Mark Gray because we've got, I think, four players missing today. We um, Dorrit still injured, Crookshank, and McCulloch. Okay, and so um, it's a bonus for us today, to be perfectly honest. We're disappointed with a good beat, but certainly not disappointed with performance. You had a couple of chances at the end of the second half to kill the game off, but you were undone by some good goalkeeping. Yeah, I thought the young goalie made a couple of great saves. The first one from Gary Harris at the near post, and the second one from Nick Gray when he came on. I thought they were outstanding saves. I thought the goalkeeper did well, kicked very well. He looked a bit 
he looked composed, you know, um, maybe first five minutes a bit nervy, but after that he settled down great. I thought he did very well for them. Well, Gary's yeah. pace can upset anybody, and I think, you know, we, ex we explained that uh, if he had the opportunity to go between the two centre halves, he would get chances, and it proved to be. But I think it took about 20 touches before he put over the line. It was, uh, I think it was just reminiscent of the whole game, actually, it just summed things up. It was a dull affair, in my opinion. Gary, your goal was the difference between the two sides, but you took the chance when it came to you. Ah, yeah, well, I knew that it probably wouldn't be uh, a lot of chances to take today. Hunt has um, proved quite a bit over the last couple of weeks. Um, it was quite a uh, stuttery ball when it went over a line, but um, I'm happy to get the goal, and that's the difference between uh, today. It's a different shape we've seen Turf go with this ah, season. Yeah. There's bodies forward and support for the front pair. Ah, yeah, exactly. Well, the last uh, couple of months we've been changing it from a five at the back sometimes and then five in midfield. Like today went back to five at the back. We've been tightening up and I think that's, I think if I'm right, I think it's like seven clean sheets in a row. So um, if we're going to keep a clean sheet, we always always have the confidence that we're going to win games because we're, we'll always score, I think. So it's uh, fairly made a difference. Mark, a narrow defeat against your former club, but a lot of positive signs. I thought we kept pretty tight at the back, to be honest. I don't think they created too much chances, apart from the end when they start, we started pushing on a lot. Obviously, Sam went up front, but I mean, very, very tight match. There wasn't much in it. It was really, to be honest, a very scrappy game. There was a lot of fouls, a bit of niggle between the two teams a bit. I know, I think it was positive for us. I mean, from where we've been, kind of like looking to push forward, I think we lacked a bit up front today. Like we just, we never really created that many openings. I mean, Thomas nicked the ball off the boy at the first, in the first half, but. After that, I think we huffed and puffed, but we didn't quite get the break, break that we needed to go push on any further. You can't help noticing you've got a bit of a barsh tail up and you were put off by the referee. Gets no, I just got a kick in the face, papping the centre half. I'm not exactly the prettiest boy anyway, so I mean, <laughs> I can take it. A number of cautions picked up from your side, but things were getting a wee bit heated with exchange with opposition. Oh, yeah, I think so, but if you're, if you're battling in a 1 0 game like that, you're. That's just the way life is sometimes. Um, the referee has got to make decisions in the game, maybe to calm the game down. And I think that's where the caution's comfy. Although I think uh, Alex Thorsa's caution was a bit uh, disappointing. Greg Sim was in, in the league prior to this, but a first clean sheet for Kevin Main since you took him in. Delighted for Kevin, yeah. Um, been chasing Kevin for a long time now. Uh, I know his qualities and he's uh, been through the course before. He's got a couple of medals in the league with, uh, with Bucky, so we knew what we were acquiring. And um, you know, people might have said it was a tough decision last week. Yeah, Greg, Greg's been outstanding, but I just feel that Kevin's a step ahead. Lifts the morale up a bit when you see um, Kevin in goals. Um, he's obviously um, well known through the Highland League. He's been one of the best goals, if not the best goalie in the Highland League. So it's great to have him on board. But um, with Simi and Kieran as well. Um, so there's competition right throughout our team now. It's great. Aurora Rangers stay top in the Scottish Highland Football League with a 3-0 win over Nairn County. Wick Academy remains second after smashing seven past a Rothes side without a win since August. Tariff United's win over Huntley keeps up the pressure on the top three after Fort Martin dropped points. Devon Vale holding them to a 2-2 draw. Inveruri Loco Works stay sixth after they came off second best in a nine-goal thriller at Harlow Park. The Aberdeenshire neighbours Cove Rangers winning 5-4. In the bottom half of the table, Bucky Thistle extend their lead over Keith after a 4-0 win. And there was a big win for caretaker manager Ryan Green at Lossiemouth against fellow struggler Strathspey Thistle. He came on as a substitute in the 90th minute and helped his side come back from a goal down to win 2-1. And he scored the winner in the 95th minute.